Hi everyone. Uh, in today's uh, DAA lecture series, that is a designer analysis of algorithm lecture series, we are going to see about um, the bubble sort. So the already we know that uh, what are all the sorting. Sorting is nothing but arrangement of elements in uh, ascending or descending order. So that the bubble sort is comes under that brute force techniques. So the brute force techniques means it is a general problem solving technique. It is a straightforward approach. And uh, in the brute force technique, we are going to uh, find out the every possible solutions to, fi to find the solution for the given problem. It is a test and error method. For that, first we have to try with one uh, solution. If it is not work out means we are going to select the another path. That is uh, the um, brute force design technique. So the bubble sort is comes under the brute force design technique. So in the bubble sort, what is the bubble sort? It is a simplest sorting algorithm. So in the bubble sort, we are going to compare the adjacent elements of the list. Suppose we are going to compare the two element means the highest uh, element as are moved to the right side. So the same process is repeated for all the um, in the first uh, iterations. At the end of the first iteration, the largest element is comes under the right end of the given list. So we are going to compare the adjacent elements of the list and swap if they are uh, in the out of order. If each one is a greater than means the greater element is moved to the right. So doing it repeatedly until uh, the total array is sorted. For example, consider the given example. So in this example, we have a 89, 45, 68, 90, 29, 34 and 17. So in the first pass, uh, here the number of elements is n and uh, so the value of the we have we are going to use the two uh, for loops one is i loop other one is a j loop so the i loop means it is that uh, n minus two times it is executed the j loop is executed n minus two minus i times so in the zeroth pass the first largest element that is a uh, 90 is the largest element is comes to the right end of the list uh, after that we are going to do the same process repeatedly. In the second pass, again, in the, we are going to the second pass, the number of elements is 6. So, in that element, we are going to do the bubble sort algorithms. We are going to search the, uh, check the adjacent elements, which one is the greater means that greatest element is moved to the right end of the list. So, at the end of the second pass, the next greatest element, 89, is uh, moved to the second place of the right end. So this process is repeated until all the uh, elements in the given list is in the sorted order. So here, um, uh, how many passes is means uh, uh, at the end of the fifth pass, that is a n minus here the ith value uh, and the i loop is executed is n minus two times. That is the number of total number of elements is seven. So it is executed n minus two times means the i loop is executed 5 times the j loop is executed n minus 2 minus i the time so this is the way the bubble sort is works so in that algorithm uh, we are using the two for loops so the uh, algorithm is considered that uh, we, uh, we have a two for loops we have a input and output so the what is the input is a given array list the output is a sorted array so here you are using a i for loop that is a uh, 0 to n minus 2 times it is executed the jth for loop is executed n minus 2 minus i times so in the analysis of algorithm uh, already you know that how we there is a uh, recursive uh, is a non recursive algorithms so with the first step of analysis we have to find the input size here the input size is n uh, second we have to find out what is the basic operation here so the basic operation in the bubble sort is a comparison of two elements that is an a of i is less than or equal to a of min so here we fix the a min value is equal to first element so based upon the comparison we are move the largest element in the right end of the list so the third step is uh, after identifying the basic operation we are kind counting that how much time the basic operation is executed so the basic operation is executed times is uh, analyzed based upon the summation formulas uh, so based upon that summation formula uh, we in the summation formula we are using that um, 
we are using the two for loop we are find out the how much time uh, the basic operation is executed that is the order of n squared so now in that uh, bubble chart the number of swap is an order of n squared so the efficiency of algorithms is uh, calculated based upon the worst best and average case analysis so the output uh, that the analysis of an algorithm is uh, it is executed in the order of n squared thank you